Mm. Looks good. Very good. Now this is like a workout, isn't it? It is. Um, Kirsten as a hilarious baker. That looks so much better, but you're too tall. She makes me sweet. Let's bring some holiday magic to our kitchen. Yes, because before you know it, it's Christmas. Exactly. So today we're going to bake some authentic German Christmas biscuits. And what we will try is, I'll say it in German because I don't know the English terms, is Stullenkonfekt, mm -hmm. Spritzgebäck und Pfeffernüsse. Of course we know it's still quite early. Yes, but we wanted to give you some time to plan ahead and get all the ingredients. Yes, so all I can say is let's do this. Some of you might remember that we made a typical German Stollen last year, which was amazing. But the only downside to it is that you have to make it at least six weeks in advance because it needs a lot of resting time. Now, the thing with Stollen Konfekt is that you can bake it and eat it straight away. So this is what you need. So we're going to make the yeast stove first and we will be using regular flour. So you need flour, icing sugar, some salt, sugar, yeast, butter, marzipan, some milk. Now, this is something that we bought in Germany. It's called Christstollengewürz. You probably won't get that here, but you can easily replace it with either allspice or ground cinnamon. Now, this is something I prepared last night and it goes into the yeast dough. These are raisins and chopped almonds that I soaked in amaretto. You can also use rum and I used a little bit of almond extract, but if you want to know the exact amounts, you will find them in the description box. We need 70 grams of marzipan. This is too much. Okay, I'm chopping the marzipan. I need to mix 100 grams of icing sugar with 200 grams of butter. I'm going to add the marzipan. So this looks like this now. Let's continue. And now you mix the yeast, the Christstollengewürz and the sugar into the flour. Now simply mix it all together. And what's next? And now I'm going to warm up the milk. Mm -hmm. Now the butter and icing sugar mixture is in this big bowl. Now I'm going to add the flour mix. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only a pinch of salt in the, in the flour, right? No, it's flour, yeast, yes. and all the, all the Christian gewürz. Yes. That's true. Then add the milk. Mm -hmm. Now that's the fun part, mixing everything together. Mm. You can smell the Christian gewürz. Very Christmassy. And now I'm adding the almonds and the raisins. Now this is the finished dough. Smells amazing. Smells good. So this needs to rest for one hour Minimum, at least. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to cover it with a Christmas tea towel. So, and while it rests, we're going to continue with our, what do you want to do? Spritzgebäck? Spritzgebäck, yes. Yeah. Let's make the Spritzgebäck, which will be gluten-free. So you will need gluten-free flour, butter, ground almonds, an egg, icing sugar, 
some cream, salt, vanilla pot, and dark chocolate. You know what's really strange? This is the very first time ever we're making Spritzgebäck. Yes, and I grew up with it, so Me too. we had it every year. Me too. So your your mom and your grandma made yeah. it. My mother always used to make it and we loved it so much. Oh, we so, never did it. <laughs> it's a mystery. The good thing is now that we have a YouTube channel, we try everything. Yeah. And oh, we love sharing it. So I put, put the butter into a bowl mm -hmm. and now you need to sieve the icing sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it doesn't. It's stubborn. <laughs> well, I tried it a minute ago and it worked. <laughs> See? It works. It listens to me. Seems so, yes. Yeah. No, it works pretty fine. Okay, what I forgot is to add some salt. Okay, I'm going to add the ground almonds and the flour. I'm using the sieve again. You might be wondering why I'm not why I'm not wearing an apron because usually I do need it, but it's too warm. The dress in combination with, with the apron is too warm for me. So now you just mix it all together. Mm -hmm. And now I'm adding some cream. I think it says one tablespoon. Don't now, you think that's too firm? No, it is really soft. Okay. And very sticky. Yeah. So that's an ideal. I hope it's not too sticky. No, no. As it should be. I hope you can see this. We now need to use a piping bag and it should look somewhat like this. So, yeah, or like Jörg style. Yeah, Jörg and Kirsten style. Let's give it a try. I don't know. See, that's the good thing that we're trying things here. Ooh. I think it's too firm. I don't know. I mean, the shape itself is fine. It doesn't matter as long as you're using a, a piping bag. But I, I can hope we can dip that into chocolate because it's quite delicate. Now this is like a workout today. It is. I just checked. <laughs> it's not called noozle, it's a nozzle. And yeah, we don't have the right one. Although we have a selection of six, but they're still too small. Do you think you, because the nozzle is so small that you will be able to see the pattern after baking? I'm not so sure. No. I don't think so. No. You have had to sit down. <laughs> so yeah. this is our attempt at Spritzgebäck. Yeah, it's Jörg and Kirsten style, or Kirsten and Jörg style. You know what, that's what we, I mean, we, we do so many things for the yeah. very first time on our channel and just want to show you, you don't have to be afraid. <laughs> and we're not, I mean, maybe it's embarrassing, but we're totally fine. Yeah. And things happen and just make the best out of it. Yeah. Accidents happen. It will be fine. It will taste all right, I think. Now this is <laughs> what we've got. And now we need to cool mm -hmm. for 15 minutes yeah. and then we uh, go into the oven. Yeah. Yeah. For 10 to 12, I think. I think maximum 20 minutes. Oh, that long? Yeah. So in the meantime, I think we 
will put the stollen Konfekt. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on the stollen. Yeah, and that, while that cools. Yeah. So we preheated the oven for the stollen Konfekt. And what I do now is I form sort of a sausage and then cut smaller pieces and put them onto a baking tray. So this is our very first batch of Stollenkonfekt and it goes into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. I must say, it smells divine, although these will only be for you. Lucky him. Mm. Looks good. Very good. Smells even better. Mm. <laughs> so, and this is now the first batch of the Spritzgebäck, which goes into the oven. I have huge doubts about that. Let's I see. mean, how they will turn out. So, yeah. Let's see. The Spritzgebäck goes into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Let's see. A bit too well done. Well, the thing is, that's why we need a new oven. Like, next year or so, you can see, this is fine, but here, too brown. Yep. So the next batch, shorter. It's getting very, very hot in the kitchen. Yes, and I will get rid of my jumper now. Imagine that. Oh. So it must be very warm. <laughs> now, we're going to prepare the dough for the Pfeffernusse. Yeah. Have you ever had... I mean, they are so German. Yes, you can buy them in every shop. Yes, but I don't remember that we made them at home. No, because you usually bought them. It's really strange, but they are very popular and known worldwide, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. time to make them. I think they are quite easy to make. <laughs> Let's hope so. We'll see. Yeah. For the Pfeffernusse, you will need flour. We're using gluten-free flour. Sugar, pepper, ground cinnamon, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, ground ginger, ground anise, icing sugar, ground almonds, baking powder, honey, butter, lemon juice, and an egg. So we now need 100 grams of honey. Now you add pinch of the spices well that probably wasn't a pinch only but we do like we do like the spices so we add a little bit more now i'm mixing the butter egg mix oh it's not easy <laughs> into the flour Mm -hmm. And then I'm adding the honey. Now, an interesting fact about me regarding honey. <laughs> when I was a child, yeah. I hated honey. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, couldn't eat it. When yeah. I, had to, I couldn't add it, let's say, have a bread with honey on it. Mm -hmm. I, it made me really feel bad and sick. Yeah. And now, I've got no problem with eating honey. Well... Huh? Things change. Yeah, but it's that's weird. Yeah, but I, you know what I remember as well about you. You hate. You used to hate cinnamon. Yeah, I can eat it in small batches. That's the dough. It was quite easy to make. Let's make the rest so that they can go into the oven. We're just rolling them. Do you think they will get a lot bigger? A bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure because it's gluten-free flour, so probably not too much. So far, so good. Yeah. And now? 
This goes into the oven at 150 degrees for around about 15 minutes. So quite a low temperature, yeah. actually. You know, the Pfefferlisse, English translation, pepper nuts. <laughs> That's hilarious. They really smell good. Yeah. All the spices, you can really smell them all. <laughs> you know what? They are huge. We need to show you. They are yeah. so big. I thought I would give you, give you a laugh. And um, I don't know what I would call this. Um, Kirsten as a hilarious baker? I'm not sure. But these are the Pfefferlisse. You know what, Jörg? I really smell the honey. Oh. They smell incredible. So far, like rating the smell, my absolute favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Okay, I'm looking like a fool. What about you? Look, I always look good. You're too tall now. <laughs> I love that. You know what? That looks so much better, but you're too tall. I think I should probably wear it like that. How should I wear it? No, as if... You look so much better. Uh -huh. I love yours. The hilarious baker and you are? I don't know. <laughs> A good looking baker. <laughs> Did you have sh schnapps? No. No. It's no. just the smell. The smell of, of all the spices. The smell of honey makes yes. him sweet. drunk and no, sweet. It makes me sweet. <laughs> now look what I've got here. A plate from Cornish Ware. Yes, Jörg's plate. Yeah. The one I decorated myself. Yes. I must say, it looks really nice. Yes, it's got minor imperfections, but it's really good. <laughs> yeah, for the very first time, yeah. you did such a great job. And I must say, you get so much respect for the people working there. Yes, because you really have to concentrate. Yeah. And so it's not an easy job. Mm, no, and definitely, because we got so many questions, not questions, comments, people saying they thought it would be made by machines, but no. no. All handmade. So, really nice. Yeah. Now, the Stollen Konfekt is not yet ready. It gets a kind of coating, and for that, we're melting some butter. And now, you coat it or you just turn it in icing sugar. So, we've had these tins for, I don't know, for ages. 20 years, Jörg? Maybe. Yeah. And I'm taking the piece and just put it into the tin. And now the final touch for the Pfeffernüsse, the pepper nuts. This is icing sugar mixed with two tablespoons of lemon juice and the Pfeffernüsse get a coating. I don't know about you, but we're quite exhausted now, but we're nearly done. So the last step is melting some chocolate and cover the Spritzgebäck. We made it and I can't believe it. So we have our Stollenkonfekt. Pfeffernüsse and our Spritzgebäck, which is still drying, but it looks amazing. After so much work, it's time to dry the Christmas biscuits now. And also, we need to dry our 
our new Christmas tea, which we ordered from Fortnum and Mason. It has clementine and Christmas spices in it. I think it will put us into the right mood for the upcoming week. So let's try it. Mmm, that's really good. I didn't expect them to be that good. Wow, those are good. That was really good. Yes, an amazing taste. Yeah, I must say that I was or I'm very surprised by the Spritzgebäck because it's gluten-free and it's not dry. No, and it tastes really like vanilla. Mm -hmm. And the Pfeffernüsse? Really good. Really, really good. good. But what, what about the Stollenkonfekt because it's regular flour? It's not like Stollen because I make, so because I was thinking, yeah, it will taste like Stollen. It's not like Stollen, but it's very tasty. Do you prefer the regular Stollen? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah, so... And it's really easy to make, so we will link that video for you as well in case you want to give it a try now. Mm -hmm. And the tea is really good as yeah, well. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm getting into a Christmas mood now. Yeah, it's a great combination. So we hope you got some inspiration. And we think there will be lovely stuff to come on yes. our channel. Yes, we've right? got a few things planned. Yeah, towards the end of November, so... I hope you can wait that long. Mm. We are very excited. Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you again very soon. So take care, guys. Bye. 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 And cheers. I do they know it's Christmas time. No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a sneaking in the snow. Ganz locker, ganz leicht. Wir sind so ganz leicht. Let's bring some holiday magic to our kitchen today. Yes, before we know it, it's Christmas. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. And I don't know what I have to say because my brain is blank. Yeah. And now I'm going to mix the yeast. Man sieht die nicht. And now I'm going to warm. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to cover it with a Christmas tablecloth. I was I was going to say tablecloth. So this is our first batch of Stollen Confect. Confect! <sighs> and it goes into the oven for 10 to 15. 12 to 15 minutes. So this is our very first batch of Stollen Confect. And it goes into the oven to so we hope you got some inspiration and we have ich das schon gesagt? Nee, habe ich noch nicht gesagt. Nee. My goodness, I don't know about you, but I'm quite exhausted now. Jörg is as well. But we're nearly done. Ich kann kein Englisch. <laughs>